Imagine having a tool that transforms the way you work. Today we're diving into Microsoft 365's Copilot, the most powerful productivity tool on the planet. Today we're zooming in on its impact on Excel. And if you can't wait to get your hands on something similar, stick with me until the end. I've got a great alternative to share with you. To work with Copilot, your data must be saved on OneDrive. And if you're working in the desktop version of Excel, autosave must be enabled. You'll find Copilot on the Home tab over on the far right. It opens a task pane in Excel for the desktop and Excel Online. Now you can left click and drag the task pane to undock it and resize it as required, or leave it docked. Now the second requirement is your data must be stored in an Excel table so Copilot can easily identify what data to work with. You can either use the keyboard shortcut Control T or, as Copilot suggests, by the Insert tab and then table. My table has headers, so I'll click OK. Now, when you first open Copilot, there's a prompt guide at the top and some predefined prompts to get you started. You can click the refresh button to get some new ideas or simply type your request in here. Interestingly, yesterday while I was trying different prompts with Copilot, I managed to get it to reveal something it probably shouldn't have, which I'll share with you soon. But first, let's say I want to add a column that calculates the discounts as a percentage of sales. I'll press enter and away it goes. Now notice I capitalized the column names to help Copilot identify them. It comes back with a suggestion that reiterates the request, provides a formula, which is okay. I probably would have used if error to handle errors rather than if, but at least it's handling errors that will be returned when the discount is zero. And I can click here to see the formula explanation. And if I'm happy with the suggestion, I can insert it. Now it gives me a preview of where it's going to put it. And I'll click insert column to add it. Notice it's also formatted the column with a percentage without me having to ask it, which is a nice touch. All right, let's look at some other things it can do. I'll ask it to highlight the sales greater than 100,000. And just like that, it's applied a fill color. Better still, if we look at the conditional formatting manager, you can see it's used a conditional format. So any updates to the table will automatically be formatted without me having to ask Copilot to do it again. It's thinking ahead and saving itself some time. Similarly, you can ask it to apply cell formats, styles, and other formatting. For example, let's say I want to remove the banded row effect from the table. And then if we look at the table design tab, you can see it's deselected banded rows. It can also find and replace data, for example, Let's replace the United States of America in the country column with USA. And there we go, job done. Let's see it sort and filter. Let's say I want to sort the data by segment, country and product and filter for discount band high. And just like that, it's applied the sorting to the first three columns and filtered the table for discount band high. Pretty cool. Now, it's all good and well having Copilot do all this work for you. But some things are still slower than doing it yourself when you know how. So it'd be good if it would teach you. So I said, how did you do that? And it revealed some information about how it's working under the hood that, well, it probably shouldn't have. It said, I use the edit document tool to perform the actions you requested. It allows me to perform Excel commands, including formatting, conditional formatting, sorting, filtering, clearing formatting or content, finding and replacing, and modifying table structures, such as inserting or deleting rows or columns, and adding or removing headers or total rows. Okay, well, not what I was expecting, but at least we now have a list of things we can use it for. And it made me wonder, what other tools does it have? So I asked it, and Copilot replied. I also have access to the Get Insights tool, which allows me to return analysis query results and insights obtained from a given query, I also use my knowledge and capabilities to generate imaginative and innovative content such as poems, stories, code, essays, and songs to help with your request. All right, well, I'm not sure I need a poem or a song, but let's try out the insights tool. Let's say I'm not familiar with this data set. Perhaps Copilot can give me an overview and identify any trends, patterns, and outliers. So I'll ask it to show data insights and it returns a line chart for the cost of goods sold by date and an explanation of the data displayed in the chart. 
and I can insert it into my file and then work with it like any other pivot chart. If I don't want to keep the pivot table and chart, I can click on do or keep it and go back to the table. And while this is a start, one insight isn't enough. It appears this feature in Copilot is currently throttled because I've seen demos online of this where it returns a whole page of insights. It's based on the original Analyze Data tool that's been around since at least 2018. So if you don't have Copilot, give Analyze Data a try. So far, we've looked at how we can use Copilot to make changes to our spreadsheets, but we can also use it like ChatGPT to ask questions unrelated to the data specifically in the table. However, for Copilot to work, I still need a cell in a table selected. So let's say I wanted to explain this formula. That's from a file I inherited. And then I can paste in the formula and press enter and be patient while it prepares a response. There we go. Copilot has returned an explanation of how the formula works. And this is a game changer for working with complex formulas. It's still early days for Copilot, and while it has some limitations, I'm sure they'll be ironed out in due course, along with the release of new features, like the ability to write Python and insert it into the file, which is a game changer. And remember the alternative I promised. Well, check out this video right here for an accessible tool that can elevate your Excel skills today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.